Dr. K. P. Ramalingam. Thank you, Vice Chairman, sir. Sir, the constant increase of the rate of inflation is the major cause of concern, which, which in turn creates negative impact on the economy of the nation in general and common citizen in particular, sir. Sir, whenever I speak, I will always quote my divine poet Thiruvalluvar's poem, sir. Yapurul yar yar vai kepunum, apurul meipurul kanbadarivu. It is nothing but everybody will say many things, but we must analyze the reality about the saying that is only intelligence. I feel that the intelligence and the dedication to the farmers is executed by the speech of Honorable Finance Minister's budget speech. He said during the budget speech that we need to think beyond food security and give back to our farmers a sense of income security. The word income security to the farmers is pronounced first time by the Finance Minister of India. So far, everybody, every Finance Minister will say the agriculture is only for food security, for food production. But the, this is the first time our Finance Minister pronounced agriculture and farmers are for income security. Sir, how can our Indian farmers be given income security? It should be achieved only by promoting the Sudeshi production. It cannot be achieved from the Videshi import to fulfill the needs of our Indian consumers. Sir, as long as we import food products from outside, the country will totally destroy the per capita income of farmers under their living status, sir. So for that, government should encourage the Sudeshi production, indigenous production, and total ban of Videshi import. For example, the import of edible oil has been raised 50% for the last five years. But at the same time, there is no specific plan made by the government to increase the domestic production of edible oil seeds in the country, sir. So further, the total production of wheat, milk, sugar, in the country is more than enough. In fact, our country is the fifth biggest producer of wheat under the second milk production and we are self-sufficient in sugar. But 80% of biscuits and chocolates are imported from foreign countries. Now in our market, we are consuming the biscuits and chocolates of imported chocolates and biscuits. But what, are, what is the component of chocolate, chocolate and biscuits? Wheat, milk, sugar are the major components of the chocolates and biscuits. But it is the matter of highest contradiction and irony that a country which is abundant in the production of major components of biscuits and chocolates imports a large amount of value added products of the same. So this is the appropriate time to correct it, sir. Our finance minister has said that our Indian agriculture should be an income security. So, I urge the government to impose complete ban on import of value added products, not only biscuit chocolate. Complete ban on value added imported agriculture commodities and promote indigenous agro based industries for agriculture value added products. Don't escape by saying, because Nirmala Sitarama will be objecting, don't escape by saying World Trade Organization Agreement which will never protect the welfare of our Indian farmers. That was the great mistake done by previous Commerce Ministers also. Sir, Honorable Agriculture Minister informed in this house few, day, <coughs> few days before that the area of agriculture lands is declined every year considerably. Almost every year, 3 lakhs hectare of average. Major area of cultural lands are converted for non-agriculture purpose. In this regard, I also express my deep concern that if this situation continues the next five years, there won't be five, for the next five decades, there won't be any cultivable lands in India. And also, our finance minister recently said in New York, our Indian farmer youth communities slowly leaving the agriculture activities. But it is very most concerned, sir. 
if our indian youth concern, youth community is leaving from agriculture means who is the which is the country in the world will supply food and essential commodities to india that we have to be careful sir then we are alerted sir finance minister alerted 5500 crore for crop insurance scheme this is also welcoming factor sir but i i need it should be some adults from the farmers community so each block level advisory committee should be put for that and that swachh bharat the clean india project 9000 crore has been allotted for swachh bharat but there will be a concern regarding the municipal solid waste now it is converted to fertilizer but without permutation it has been mixed with the urea and some other fertilizers and is again going to the field then what will be happen instead of the dumping area of urbanized dumping area will be spread to the agriculture fields so we must be careful on it sir if it is going on after 10 years all the agriculture field will be with the dumping of the this municipal solid waste so you be, it must be also can be referred with the ministers look sir thank you sir thank you